Bombshell Report, GOP is about to put Comey back in the hot seat by Amy Moreno for TruthFeedNews.com. The House oversight is about to ruin disgraced former FBI Director James Comey's day. In light of the recent uh, Pfizer-related documents that were finally released by the DOJ, more questions and concerns have been raised regarding the FBI's sinister role in trying to bring down Trump via Spygate. The House committee is now going to force Comey to testify before Congress yet again. From the Washington Examiner, Washington, D.C., could be seeing more of former FBI Director James Comey following his book tour across the U.S., promoting his memoir, A Higher Loyalty, Truth, Lies, and Leadership. Lawmakers on the House Judiciary and House Oversight and Government Reform Committees who are conducting probes concerning the FBI's investigation of Hillary Clinton's private email server are preparing to interview Comey following the August recess to press him on his decision-making process leading up to the 2016 election, The Hill reports. Comey is on the list of witnesses to bring in over the uh, next eight weeks, but it will probably be for a deposition, not a public hearing, a Republican lawmaker told the outlet. Additionally, Republicans are prepared to issue a subpoena in the event Comey dodges their invitation to testify. If uh, he resists, there is discussion, and I anticipate that he would be subpoenaed, another GOP lawmaker told the Hill. Comey has not uh, been sent an invitation yet to appear before the committees, and an aide for the House Judiciary Committee said that no date has been scheduled. Meanwhile, conservative watchdog group Judicial Watch revealed on Friday that the FBI has asked Comey to keep federal records and submit other FBI records he currently has back to the FBI. The move happened after Judicial Watch and the Daily Caller News Foundation voiced concern about Comey maintaining government documents in his personal email accounts following the Justice Department's Inspector General report released in June that claimed there were numerous instances in which Comey used a personal email account, a Gmail account, to conduct FBI business. Judicial Watch also filed a motion requesting that a federal court require the documents be preserved amid fears that the documents could be lost or damaged, you think? It is incredible that it took Judicial Watch's uh, prodding of the FBI for it uh, to ask Mr. Comey to return federal records over a year after he was fired. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton said in a statement Friday, Mr. Comey continues to be protected by the FBI and DOJ. It is outrageous that the agencies oppose a simple preservation order to make sure no Comey records are lost or destroyed. The Justice Department IG also determined uh, Comey, would, uh, who was fired by Trump in uh, May of 2017, was, quote, insubordinate and affirmatively concealed his intentions regarding the investigation on Clinton's emails. But the report ultimately determined that though at times improper behavior was exhibited from the FBI, the actions did not alter the results of the Clinton investigation. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, it, although d- the who determined, but the report by the IG, ultimately determined that though at times improper behavior was exhibited from the FBI, the actions did not alter the results of the Clinton investigation? What a crock of crap by the IG, right? What a crock of crap. We know he let her off the hook. He was told by Loretta Lynch to change the wording So Clinton would be left off the hook and the IG is coming out with a straight face saying that this behavior uh, didn't change the results of the Clinton investigation. I'll tell you one thing, the whole Justice Department is full of crap 
at this point. Now they're going to subpoena him if necessary. He already uh, didn't show up when they were asking him to come in uh, uh, about a, two months ago or something. He just ignored that. He said it, it interfered with his uh, uh, book signing and uh, he was on tour and he wasn't able to make it. And now they're saying they want him to be questioned behind closed doors. They already got him lying in front of uh, Congress uh, um, uh, back when he was fired, you know. They already caught him lying and he's still prancing around uh, giving book tours and signings. And you're going to tell me now they want a closed door meeting? Uh, why a closed door meeting? Uh, put it up in front of the people so we can see how much more of a, of a liar he is. I mean, really? Really? And what is this going to do? They have, Look, they have no regard for the Republicans. The DOJ and FBI are hiding garbage. The IG report was half-baked. Uh, you know, didn't really say anything. The only people getting to the bottom of things is a uh, very few people, like Judicial Watch, uh, uh, trying to get these uh, the the paperwork, uh, subpoenaing the paperwork. Okay, and the FBI and DOJ are are going to destroy or lose the records conveniently, and you can bet on that if Judicial Watch is saying. Uh, to, they're the only ones it, it, right here. It's incredible that it took Judicial Watch's pro, uh, prodding of the FBI uh, for it to ask Mr. Comey to return the federal records and, uh, and pressing that uh, not to lose or destroy the records. And you know, those are long gone. But you know, you can always get Comey on lying in front of Congress. What about that? What about that? If it was a Republican lying in front of Congress, oh, all hell would break loose. But if it's Comey, he's walking around doing his book tour. I mean, it's like you're fighting an uphill battle at this point. You know, uh, uh, the, they have to get with the program and start charging these people and not allowing them to not show up and having to wait to subpoena people. Uh, just, uh, you know... Uh, that that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, below. And again, thank you so much for watching.